Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What I wanted to talk about today is how to build up your weaker colony. We're coming up towards the end of September and we're getting ready to do some splits here next week. So that's how late we're doing splits here in North Georgia. But they will be stronger splits and they will be with mated queens. So that makes a huge difference because that gives you a good month before your frost come before we get a good frost and then goldenrod will be in flow for pretty much a month solid and goldenrod's in flow right now so what we got right here if you remember this colony going back where we had a queen in the cage that had been in there for three weeks in that cage and i dropped her in this little colony that had maybe oh there probably wasn't a, a, a cup of bees in here uh, or probably more like a half a cup it was very very low uh, population and it's still low but we're boosting it up because she's proved to be a good layer uh, I can see multiple eggs in here you can see them in the cells a little bit uh, as as her population builds up she will lay more and more so she's laying a little bit there and there's one hive beetle not bad though that's all only one i've seen so far right there's our little queen she's uh she's come a long way from being stuck in that cage for three days to where she was just barely moving almost dead to laying and hopefully you can see in that cells right there because she's got a pretty good little pattern going on for as low as the population is so Let's see what, what this other frame looks like. Quite a few more bees in here than there was. Most definitely a lot more bees. A lot of eggs here in this colony. Now, one way that we can boost it up, and that's how I've been working with this, is I go into another colony, find a a nice frame of capped brood and I've done this once already shake the bees off drop it in now what I could do now is actually shake the bees off of this frame gently or brush them off because there is there are larvae in there that you may turn over and roll into the royal jelly and drown them so you gotta be careful when you do that so what I could do is go into another colony find a, a frame of, of just solid capped brood shake the bees off of this one put this one in that hive that i took it from and then take the the capped brood from the other colony that's getting ready to hatch out and swap it out back into this colony so let me go look for another frame and that's exactly what i'll do okay i went into a colony that was very strong rated right way Pass ready to split. So, this look at the cap brood. A little bit of honey on top. Looks like the bees are backfilling as they're hatching. So, yeah, it's getting that time of year. They will do that. So, look on this side. You'll see. There's. A, I shook the bees off. There's just a, a handful of nurse bees in there. A little bit of pollen. A lot of big larvae few eggs where they the queens beat the bees to the where they try to backfill with honey she'll try to get in there and lay eggs but she will like I said the throttle down this time of year start to so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find the the weakest frame here to give back to the other colony which is this one and I'll go ahead and shake Shake those bees off of that. And that's the frame that I'll give back to that colony that I just took this from. So what this will do, it'll really, really help boost that queen's right here on this frame. She's right there on the other side there. I didn't get a shot of her, but she's there. Gently put those in there and this is what will go back 
into that colony and it'll help them because they had way too many bees in it and this will definitely help this one because the population here is very low we'll need to get our feeder cleaned out here and get some uh, sugar water in there so it's just as simple as that that you can just keep manipulating your hives like that take from one to give to the other when they're extremely strong and they got way too many in in that colony which is going to have to be split anyway even after taking that frame so it'll help boost this little two framer up now what we can do we can just let it let it go ahead and ride out and take it right on through the winter in two framer here in north georgia but uh your odds are better in a five framer uh even even here in north georgia you know you're uh when you try to overwinter, what well, we found out with these two framers, they do pretty good. They're about 50%. I mean, that's not bad considering that you have very few bees in there in a queen. You know, you do 10 of them, you should get five, at least five in the spring to survive. That's about what we found out, about 50%. And uh, that's not too bad for a colony that's that small that you can turn around and... Uh, do a lot with come spring and you know keep splitting them off or turn it into a five frame nuke or whatever you want to do from there so so they'll just they'll go ahead and they'll hatch them more out the population will pick up and then probably what i'll do is go ahead and convert this over i'll give it a couple weeks and i'll convert it over to a uh, five frame so basically what i want to do with with this hive it just show everybody how you can turn a very small colony into a bigger colony towards the end of towards fall coming to fall you know we're at the, towards the end of september so we're going to see how big we can get this hive going into winter so their next steps will be to split it off into a to a five frame nuke so that's about it don't forget folks uh september 21st this coming next this coming saturday today's sunday this coming Saturday, September 21st, we're having our coffee bee chat in the store. Come, there's free coffee and donuts. You enjoy, we just sit around, chit chat and drink coffee and eat donuts and talk about bees. You can't, it's a fun time. Uh, this is the latest we've had one. We're going to try to talk about a lot about uh, fall preparation and winter preparations. So, so come be with us then. And don't forget, folks, uh, be keeping supplies, barnyardbees.com. Click on the little bell. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.